this code is for a game that rules free if uh, you score uh, 10 points okay and if it's just two you score I uh, score five points, okay? Otherwise, you lose. You lose. All right, so that's what the code should be doing. How do we start? Let's say import uh, random because you need the random number generator, okay? Then we need this OS to clear the screen okay so i'm gonna define a function and we can say this function function uh, named uh, roller the function name is roller will generate will generate random numbers okay we'll call the function roller all right so then we're gonna say die one equals random and it's gonna range from one to six all right random run int range six uh we're gonna make these variables global die one die two and three okay so keep saying okay we're gonna do the lazy bit and copy and paste them here and then change that's three that's two okay so that's what it does okay we have three random numbers now this after rolling the random numbers we are now going to call another function and its job is to award max okay so we're gonna say max but max is expecting uh die one die two die three that's what this function is expecting so we need to define it now okay so you're gonna say uh define max day one day two and day three okay what does it do it's going to say if day one is the same as day two which is also the same as day three okay what will happen we are going to say um, uh, points equals no uh, plus equals 10 okay but we don't know what points is which means we are going to say global points points equals zero make it simple like that we need to declare uh, the break okay define uh, let's say refresh okay define refresh oh we need to okay os dot system and bracket we say clear it's gonna clear this the screen make this global uh, points points plus equals that elif die one equals die two or die two and on let's still deal with one one equals die two or die two equals die three okay so you have one and two and oh hang on that's one and three and then we have okay one and two one and three and then we have uh uh, two and three and two and one so one and two so each one should appear twice okay there's one there and then twice two there and then twice then three there and then twice that's it okay then what happens points uh, plus equals five if 
that's not the case. Hang on. Points uh, minus equals uh, let's say three. Takes of three points. Okay. That's what happens, and then we're gonna say print. Uh, print. You now have uh, whatever the points are. Okay. We'll change that in a minute. Okay. Uh, points. Okay. And then we put that there, and then we need to format it so that all strings and points is a variable. But however, we also need to display something. Okay. So where it says uh, global die, where it's gonna, um, before calling that function, we need to display the actual uh, die, this here. Copy this and paste it there. So we're gonna repeat this two more times, but change the values. Control C and three. And then we change this message to uh numbers are we're gonna make this start on a new line to attach give it some space basically okay so that's where we start paint of space what do we have here let me see we have all this and that and that and that and then we're gonna call this function called roller Call this function called roller and let's see what happens. Roller. Let's test the thing. Numbers are six, four, and two. So nothing matches. So you get minus three points. Roll again. Five, five. Yes, five points. Six, six. Five points. Okay, so we have one function that clears the screen. Okay, now we need to call that function here. Copy that, and then once this happens, we are going to put it right there, okay, to refresh. But before it refreshes, before it clears the screen, we want it to wait for you to read the message. Okay, now for that to happen, we need to go back here to refresh, and then we need to first of all go here, and then say import time, okay? Import time, one second, Let's say one second to read it, okay? Uh, before it clears. So we're gonna go here and it's gonna wait for you, wait for, you know, you to read the message and then wait a second and then clears the screen, okay? So numbers are, so hang on, it's just too quick. Well, let's say three seconds, then it clears the screen, okay? So numbers are five, three, and one, you didn't win any points and then it clears the screen, okay? So that's what this does. Say wait uh, three seconds and then clear uh, the screen. Assign three variables to randomly generated numbers ranging from one to six. Okay. Now, if it generates a random number here, let's say it's a five, it doesn't mean all these others are gonna be five. It's still going to run the same code and gener generate another ram random number, which could be a three, okay? So they're not the same numbers, just to be clear. Then it's gonna print off the numbers it generated, okay? And after that, it's gonna call this a function called max and when max is called max will then um, check on the numbers uh, that have been um, these numbers have been um, generated if they all match you get 10 points added to your uh, current points if only two match then you get five points otherwise you you lose three points now the refresh starts and then we need to continue with the game okay so which means it's gonna ask you to, um, um, you know, press X or whatever to continue. Y equals continue and X is uh, terminate, okay? Now, because we want it to terminate, we're gonna import system here, SIS. 
we'll see about that later on okay terminate all right now then we're gonna ask them to enter okay we can say status equals input okay whatever they type in but now we don't know what status is so we're gonna go up here and we say we have another guy here called status okay and is um empty okay status is empty so uh, then we'll put here status okay so that line goes away okay now now that's what it does okay it's now waiting for you to respond is it y or x uh what happens we are going to say status let's say game okay game game and then we're gonna say status so this is another function and what it does it will determine whether the game should be played or not so we're gonna say define game status full colon and then we're gonna say if status is x okay status dot upper okay okay if status dot upper is equal to x it says sys dot exit uh elif uh or else that's the only other option otherwise sys to upper is not equal to x what if it's another later it won't matter okay else we're gonna call this here mm -hmm. We're gonna call um, this here roller okay we're gonna call roller okay so otherwise call roller that's what's gonna happen okay so now let's test and see numbers are five one and six y continue x terminate uh if i type on y to continue what happens five six and five i now have two points y three two three seven points y oh i lose some points there uh, but now we need the game to tell us now i've, I've terminated the game okay um we need the game to inform us if we've um lost points or not okay so we can say um we can say oops oops so we're gonna personalize these messages so we're gonna clear them so they're not they're also inside of this so let me first of all clear that screen and i need to make sure x is right at the edge um okay i'm gonna personalize these messages we're gonna say uh let me see what else is there yeah that's it that's it that's it that's it so that's our game that's our little dice game when you play when you start playing it it's gonna keep generating random numbers if they all match you get an extra 10 points if only too much you get uh, an extra five points and if none of them matches the other you only you lose three points okay but what if you knock a zero we can say then is game over game over and then it's gonna terminate okay so uh da -da 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 after working out your points it's now gonna check the same function is gonna check if you uh okay if wait if points yeah if points is less than one what will happen print game over you lose matey game over you lose and then let me see it does that okay and then it's gonna terminate for some reason it's gonna say bye bye so we're gonna copy that part put it there okay it doesn't have to be in a function but what if you have um more points than expected 
um, okay we can say elif we don't want you to play this game indefinitely okay it's got to have some point uh, in a target so elif points points is greater than let's say you knocked hmm, for testing purposes let's say your maximum will be a 10 it's not easy uh it's, it's a 50 it's not, it's not easy getting to 50 because remember <laughs> the conditions are a bit funny there okay so then it's going to ask you whether to continue or not and after that it's gonna then um it's gonna change the points points zero points is equal to zero but then we say it up here but if this points is if points is less than one Okay, let's say points equal to one. Okay, point C equals one. Right. Mm, oh yeah, I think that's it. Okay, so let's play it again and see. Play number three, two, one. It died unexpectedly. Okay, you lose matey. Okay, we made a mistake here. Um, we're gonna go back here and then say we lose okay uh, if points is less than one okay uh, if points is less than uh, zero so we need to change the points here is if it's less than one okay um do you know what less than zero because if you reach the negatives you haven't really done well but however you still have the minus three there so what we need to do is um ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. yeah so make sure you don't lose on the first attempt yes <laughs> do not lose on your first attempt that's where the challenge is yeah yes i know that's a flaw but it doesn't matter good you now have five points why continue 10 points why again yes i got to correct again do you know what let me make it more fun because this is not a usual thing to get all three correct so I'm gonna increment the max here to 20 okay and let's make it this uh, let's make it 8 and if you play your game <laughs> process died you lost in the first attempt <laughs> yeah so that's my game that's my little game I hope you enjoyed it thank you